Welcome everybody. Uh, today I will show you how we can configure the Ubuntu server as a router. Uh, preparation um, for the preparation we need uh, we'll be setting up because we will be setting up the router in lab environment. So we'll be using a virtual machine. We also need the following software. Uh, we need a PC with Windows XP or Windows. Uh, 7 operating system installed. We need Oracle's um, virtual box. We need uh, Ubuntu server, obviously. Uh, we need Ubuntu desktop as a for the testing, uh, and we need an internet connection as well for testing. Um, configuring the server um, in order to um, In order to set up the Ubuntu server as a router, um, we need two Ethernet card. Because we are using a virtual machine, so we have Ubuntu server and Ubuntu uh, desktop already installed here, as you can see. Um, and uh, we got a Windows uh, XP as a client if you want to test it as well um, using Windows. Now. <coughs> Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, because we need two uh, network cards, so we'll add. W I have already added um, one additional network card, so we go right click on the setting and go to the network card here, and we click adapter two and click on the enable network adapter. That's how we add a new network, and then you go back to the system. The first step will be configuring the IP. Now we got two network um, Ethernet cards. Uh, one will be um, in the WAN side. Um, I'll be I won't be configuring the IP address manually. Um, I'll, I'll get the DSCP server to provide IP address for the WAN. But the LAN one I'd like to give it a static IP so I'll show you. So we go to sudo nano then we go to etc network interfaces okay okay so all right i'm in the wrong window um i need that server there you go so we go to sudo nano etc network interfaces. Okay. Now this is my WAN, so I'll get it. Um, get the DHCP to um, borrow uh, the, to configure the IP address. This is LAN. That's where I am giving the static IP address. So address. One one two one six eight fifty one net mask uh, with two five five two five five two five five dot zero um, address also network network of one one two dot one six eight Five zero dot zero and a broadcast broadcast address in broadcast broadcast uh, would be one nine two dot one six eight dot five zero dot two five five. Okay, uh, I don't have to put a default uh, gateway because this is a router, so it doesn't have a default gateway. Okay, so we'll save it and exit. Yes. And we restart the uh, Ethernet service, uh, networking service. So we go again sudo etc uh, services. Sorry, inrt.d networking. Restart. Okay, let's see if it works. Config. Alright, so uh, my ETH3 
2E, which is getting an IP address at 10.1.1.12. It's good. And my ETH4 got an IP address at 192.168.50.1. Excellent. So the network has been the network IP address has been configured. I just want to check it before I proceed if this is communicating with the other computer. So so let's ping. Uh, by the way, this uh, this one has got a IP address on the same network. So I've got 50.2. So I, I should be able to ping my server. So this this is a client computer. So ping 192.168.50.1. Okay, beautiful. So this my client computer is able to communicate with the server which is good um, but it cannot communicate with the WAN which is the other Ethernet card connected to, um, attached to the server so let's have a look 10.1.0 okay. no, it should not be anyway so we um, so this is working this is connecting fine um, now we go back to this. We have to run few. Okay, we have added the network card and we give it the IP address. So we restarted and it's working fine. Now we have to enable the forwarding. So to do that, we go to sudo nano and etc. And then we got sys. Um, S Y S and then C T L dot C O N F. Okay, in this file, uh, we have to we have to modify. We have to do this one. Get the command out. So activate this line. So net um, net dot ipv4 ip4 equals one. It means that um, I have enabled the 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 ip forwarding first. Um, functionality so we exit and we save yes enter so this should uh, forward the IP so that's fine the next step is I have to give um, the IP I have to configure the IP table for the net okay so the code is sudo IP table Tables T A B L E S T net A post routing post routing ho sorry then J M A S Q M A S Q U E M A S Q U E R A D E. Okay, so that's that's the command to add the routing uh, add it to the routing table. So we have to put one it. Excuse me. Um, okay, we have to put the Ethernet card, which is on the LAN side, which is in the WAN side. So E T H three in my case. So just T H three. Okay. So double checking IP tables T net a post routing zero eight three minus J. Let's curate. Okay. Hit enter. Okay. Now this should give me um, allow me to ping the other side of the network. So should which is ten dot one dot one dot twelve. Excellent. So I am able to ping. 
able to ping 10 dot uh, sorry 12 dot 1 dot 1 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 12 which is that when other side let me see if I can ping my default gateway okay can't do that right because I haven't set up a haven't set up a um, DNS so in order to configure the DNS I have to I should go to sudo nano well we can manually do from let's do it manually from there system preference uh, preferences go to network okay then edit IPv4 okay it looks like it's given there okay let's close this one okay I have to do one more thing in order to okay sudo nano I just double checking here to see I think it was resolved give the DNS um, name server name okay, it says put name server uh, which one should I use all right I'll use the Google ones which is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. oh well see this one my uh, my DNS it's my DNS okay Let's see if I can ping this one. Still can't ping it. Okay. Let me check. Okay, we are bo back now. Um, it's all working fine. It was just uh, I needed to restart the the server after configuring the. Um, uh, network and um, the for uh, what you enable forwarding. Uh, after that, I had to restart the computer. Um, so it's, it's all working now. If you go to ten, sorry, so other side ten dot one dot one dot one is pinging. Sorry, pinging. So pinging. So virtually it's working. Our router is working. So if you connect to um, internet, ping google.com, it's working. So let's see if I can browse from. Uh, this is my client PC. So let's see if I can browse the internet. It's all good, all working. So google.com. working fine so yep so we have successfully um, configured the router it's all working now one issue is if I restart my computer my IP table will be lost I'll show you so, so I want to shut down my computer Down. Uh, okay, and turn it back on. Okay. So now I'll try to use the so do the same thing for a client computer. Try to go to the internet. It's not working because um, the, because when I restart the computer, it had lost the um, the IP table. 
Now there's a way there are many ways you can save the IP tables. Um the one I'll be using is I have to go to network interfaces and then we just write down here pre up IP tables. It is it is a repeatables. Yes. Dot. Okay. Put another one. Post. Tables. Dot. Okay, so it is a IP tables. Controls. Okay, so post. Um, what it does is is it's basically before restarting or shut down, uh, shutting down, um, it tells the system to save the current configuration to the IP table rules, and um, it also tells that uh, when uh, next time restart the computer the con computer starts up then uh, get this uh, restore this um, IP table information from the same rules um, so it's basically saving and um, restoring okay so I'll give it a go save it exit yes okay um, now I have to run the same command again yep and let's see if we can communicate with them from the um, client PC it's working uh, we can browse the internet yep and uh, Um, we just want to restart the machine to see if it still works. So just close this one. Just shut down. Okay, we restart the machine. See if it works. Try now if a client machine still works. So go to Google. Works. So it doesn't matter if you shut down the computer, it will still work. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, Yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. So we have finally tested um, the LAN connection, and uh, the server is working fine as a router. So I think um, I mean there are many many other um, G, um, you know uh, graphic user interface based um, tools out there you may use to do the same thing but uh, for the sake of the tutorial I had to limit my presentation hope this video will help uh, help you and um, if you have any other question regarding this video please uh, post your question um, and thanks a lot uh, for watching this video tutorial thank you